Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, I am your host, Grandmaster Sloth, and today I'm bringing to you something we haven't seen just yet. We're going to be looking at the sub rogue spec for Zandalari Trolls battle animations. I'm pretty excited to show this to you guys. Um, it does look fun, it does look like it's going to be a good time. That being said, I'm very excited to show you yet another Zandalari Troll rogue spec. But quickly before we get started, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody that's left me positive comments over the last week in regards to breaking 10 subs. We actually did end up getting back up to 12, so that's amazing. Thank you guys so much for all of you that subbed, and for all the nice comments that I got left behind by people that were just wishing me good luck in the future. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your kind words and your support. I love you guys, and you know, continue watching. And for any of you that aren't subbed yet, maybe considering after this video, if you like what you see, give it a sub and a big thumbs up. But yeah, so right off the bat, we're going to get into the sub spec here. As always, I've gone through and taken as many talents as I can for you that might change some of the animations so you can see the differences. But we're going to be having to look at some... Some of these moves are going to be coming out of stealth, so it's going to be a little difficult to see, but I will do my best to give you guys the best angles possible. A lot of their moves must be used from stealth, including Shadow Strike. So we're going to show you Shadow Strike first, and here we go. Perfect. So, nice teleport behind the target. Does big damage, gives you a couple combo points. Fantastic. We start attacking. Looking good. Now a Gloom Blade is our filler spell. Not too much to be seen there. A little side swipe action. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. But it doesn't seem that there's too much to be seen with that. Now onto Night Blade, which is our first combo point spender. Shares the same animation as the Assassination Rogue Eviscerate. Looks really good. I like it. And we'll show you Night Blade one more time. Looks awesome. Fantastic. So we got that Nightblade going, and then we're going to show you guys Eviscerate. Very nice. Nice jumping double slash. Looks sharp. Looks sharp. And there's something I want to show you guys in just a moment. First, I'll show you one more Eviscerate. Perfect. Looks amazing. Take a look at these running animations, guys. They finally fixed it. It looks so good. So much better. So, so much better. Um, here it is. Yeah, no more sprinting. We've shown you Gloomblade. Let's show another, um, let's show another Shadow Strike. Perfect. Just for those who didn't see it the first time or didn't catch the right angle. We pop Symbols of Death. Pretty cool looking animation. Nothing too crazy there. We pop Shadow Dance. I like the, the purple esque around you. It looks really good. There's Cold Blood. Big Eviscerate. But let's show off a big secret technique now. This is a, this is a good one as long as it comes through. It, yeah, okay. So it is popping through. It's a little hard to be seen. Secret technique is on cooldown. So we'll show off Death from above. Nice, man. That's one of my favorite moves in the game. Looks badass. It's it's like huge height, and then in BGs, if someone tries to teleport away from you, you chase after them. It's a ton of fun. And then we can show you some shadow strikes. Look how cool that looks. Pop out of like a, tel like a portal behind you. Looks amazing. And secret technique again. Sweet. Also, if you're a rogue that's looking to make a Zandalari troll, are you going to be going sub subtlety? Or are you going to be going assassination or outlaw? Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to hear from some of you, uh, some of you rogue mains that are looking to switch over for the upcoming races. So, mark for death. Back in action here. Mark for death. Pretty standard stuff. Symbols of death. Shadow dance again for you guys, just to show. Next up on the block, we're going to see Shuriken Storm. Awesome, that looks really good. That looks really good. I like the Shadow-esque. I like all the shuriken that fly out. That looks really sharp. So let's see Shadow Blades. Excellent. Looks pretty good. Let's get away from some of the main attacks now, because that is... Guys, I'm going to be honest, that's pretty much the majority of the battle animations, but we'll go through some simpler stuff just to show you what everything looks like. So Smoke Bomb, same kind of animation, nothing different there. Um, evasion for, for our sub-spec. Looks good. I like the purple around the hands. We'll throw a shuriken. The shuriken toss looks pretty good. We'll take this evasion off here. We'll get back to show up throwing shurikens. Uh, Crimson Vial. Pretty standard stuff. Nothing different to the animation. Let's see how our sprint looks now that the running animation has changed. The sprint looks really good. Yeah, there we go. So this looks so much better. So much more rogue-esque. Uh, big props to Blizzard for that. We could take off Gloomblade so you guys can see what backstab looks like. That's backstab, pretty standard stuff, nothing too different there. As always guys, we're gonna take a peek at some sets for you just to see if you like the Zandalari Troll Rogue sets. Um, you can let me know in the comments down below if you have a favorite set that you're looking forward to. Uh, so I'd like to hear what you guys think. 
But first up, Sinister Gladiator's Leathers from Battle Season 2. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, that looks amazing on the Zandalari. Alright, so moving on. Bone Blade Battle Gear, we've we've taken a look at that that's a pretty popular set i mean we'll show it off for everybody just so you can see this is mythic battle for dazzalore so this is going to be a little or sorry that's the normal set this is the mythic set so let's throw up the mythic set i like to show you guys the most elite gear possible that looks amazing oh my god does that look amazing yeah that's going to be a tough one for some people so let's peek on through here at some of the other sets but here is the doom blade battle gear from the nighthold mythic mode Looking really, really good. Really sinister looking, really sharp. Zandalari Troll pulling it off perfectly here. So now we're getting back closer towards the Dragon Soul days. So we should be able to see a couple of pretty sharp looking sets pop up here soon. The Trial of the Crusader, Garona's Battle Gear. This is one set I was rocking for quite a while there. Looking pretty sharp. I think, I think rogues need a little bit of love in terms of their set looks because not a lot of them look too roguelike. A lot of them look very much more like warrior kind of sets, but... Hey man, that's just my that's just one sloth's opinion. But here we go. Here's some good quality rogue looking stuff. This is an awesome set. That's always been one of my favorites. Um, I love the purple in the eyes for the Zandalari troll with the helmet look there and the skulls. It's, this is just an awesome looking set with shoulder animations when they pop off. Uh, you'll see like the tentacles fly out. Uh, this is one of my all time favorites, guys, and it goes perfectly with the sub rogue spec. This is my personal favorite rogue spec or set sorry season two merciless gladiators leather battle armor um looking really good it's the olden stuff but it still holds up well and my god does it ever look kick-ass on the zandalari troll so there you go guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for stopping by yet again if you haven't heard in the other videos i did set myself a new personal sub goal of 25 subs by the end of this month, hopefully, it might be reaching a little too far, but hey man, I gotta set myself some, some goals here, and hopefully you guys wanna join the Sloth fam, get a part of this family, help me grow this community, but if you're enjoying the videos, give them a big thumbs up, if you're not enjoying the videos, yeah, come on, give them a big thumbs up anyway, be nice, but uh, thank you guys again so much for stopping by, and have a great day.